The Kisaba Heritage Village, also known as Naga Heritage Village, is located on the slopes of a hill between Kikwema and Pisama Village in the Kohima district of the Indian state of Nagaland. It is established and commissioned by the state government of Nagaland. The nomenclature of Kisama is derived from two villages, Kikwema Ki and Pisama Sa and Ma which means village. Naga Heritage is rich in its tradition and cultural activities. On visiting, you will see the unique thatched roofs on the traditionally built houses, its wooden walls, delicately and neatly done carvings of different designs. All of it has an age-old rural essence. This village comprises of morungs of 16 different houses that are designed and made in such a way that it symbolizes 16 communities of the population residing here. These communities have restored the artifacts of World War II, its food courts, traditionally bamboo mat halls, and a stadium which is famous for its hornbill festival. The scenic beauty of the village itself mesmerizes the tourists, and thus tourism has flourished in leaps and bounds in the region over the years. The Hornbill Festival was first initiated by the state government, organized by the state tourism and art and culture departments. It included folk songs and dance, traditional games and some songs from their wars. Its rich heritage speaks volumes about its cultures and customs. Back in the year 2000, Hornbill Festival in Nagaland was celebrated for the first time and now every year in the first week of December. The village celebrates the biggest festival of Northeast, the Hornbill Festival. The objective of the Heritage Village is to protect and preserve all the ethnic cultural heritages by establishing a common management approach and comprehensive data based for reputation and maintenance for promotion of tourism. It also aims to uphold and sustain the distinct identity of dialects, customs and tradition of all the ethnic tribes of Nagaland. The Heritage Villages is designed in the form of an ancient Naga village to give an authentic feel of a true Naga village and the experience of traveling back in time. It is designed in a traditional fashion to give the Naga village a life. Nagas lived in tribes and villages during their headhunting days and showed exceptional bonding values within one village or tribe. The Nagas lived in group and hunted in groups for the simple reason of survival. Some scholars have compared the administration of the Nagas to the autonomous Greek villages. Their only form of learning in an education-deprived era was the Morum, where they would come together and learn different kinds of skills, even headhunting. The Morum is like a modern coffee house, a place to discern and learn from one another. Each village has separate Morums for men and women. During the festival, the Heritage Village serves as healthy sign, vision and encouragement for uniting the various tribes of Nagaland to showcase their rich cultural heritage and tradition under the aegis of Hornbill Festival in a platform where one could have a glimpse and experience into the heritage village. Today, it's a grand affair where people from around the world come to become a part of it. In other words, it is known as the King of Festivals. It has grown extremely in the span of a decade and is now one of the fastest growing festivals in India and attracts foreigners as well as Indians. Visiting this place is an experience of one of its kind and probably different from any part of the country. To have a first-hand experience on the beauty and traditions of the Naga heritage, I encourage each one of you to come and visit the Hornbill Festival, which is held every year on the first week of December. I assure you that you would love the experience of exploring new traditions, culture and a look into the past.